Hey guys and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. My name is Twitchy and I have been invited to a new war that I am calling Kerbal Combat. Me and three other YouTubers will be fighting it out on this green and blue luscious orb. We have a point system for creating the craft and of course we'll be splitting the Kerbin side bases up amongst us. But first, a small message from our sponsors. We are blessed to live in a world as wonderful and peaceful as ours. A country is protected and secure. But there are dark forces set to infect our land with the disease of oppression. A miasma pervading the environment and threatening our way of life. Responding to this emergency shall stand the only defenders we ever need. 19 of our finest, the Kerbals operating vehicles of internal defense. You can join the fight. You can help the effort. You can become one of the COVID-19. Be better. Paid for by the Kerbals for the ethical treatment of all. Ooh, yeah, uh, thank you for our sponsorship there, the uh, KOVID19. 19 of our bravest defenders out watching over our bases. Speaking of our bases, I think it's time that we went through the list here. All right, first off, bam, got a map. I'm the green guys. Yes, indeed, I am over here. And as you can see, though, I've got three separate clusters of bases. I am sep separating them out into the western flank, the eastern flank, and the core bases. I was going to call it core work, core worlds for a second there, but no, core bases. Starting at the top of the map, we're going to go have a look at Londi Island. As you can see, it's a nice runway airport. I don't have many of those, and we're deploying a turtle defensive unit. You can see that it is bristling with weaponry, but it does have the ultimate weapon, cuteness. Look at that tail wiggling on the back there. That is amazing. How could you ever attack it? It's just so cute. But not only do we have the long-range missiles up on top, the interceptors, and of course some sidewinders either side, it is manned kerbled by Kim Dan and Kenkot Kerman. Yes, indeed, two of the Kerbals operating vehicles of internal defense. Back of the map, almost over to the KSC, we've got Sandy Island, and it is indeed a Sandy Island. It is uh, quite quite small, quite insignificant, but we have placed two Kerbals there, two of our COVID operators, Catford and Kaiser Kerman. Down at the very bottom of the map, finally for the western flank, we have South Hope. In the turtle defensive unit there, we have COVID, Colita, and Kitmore. Deployed and ready to defend. And that's my west flank bases. They're looking pretty good. I'm a little bit concerned about the Darien Republic over there. They've got like the uh, the KSC area, the way, the area everyone knows just over there. So uh, that should be fine. But we've got, we've got some defenses down and it's quite scattered bases. So I can't see them being operationally that significant to them. So hopefully they'll just fight over there. In the core world, we've got Kerbin's Heart Scientific Research Area. Uh, in here we have Katkin and Cathbert Kerman. I feel like this base is quite well defended. Not only is it in the very heartland of my area, but also such canyon. Next, similarly in the core lands, we have Lush Lands. This is manned by Cadbert and Casper Kerman. Uh, if the last base was quite defensible, I think this one is quite exposed. It's going to be interesting to see if anything happens here at all. It is in the middle of my heartland, but I, I don't feel like it's going to be easy to hold on to this one. Last of the core bases is my de facto capital, Goldpool. No particular reason other than I can launch every type of vessel from this place, so I'm going to be launching most types of vessels from this place. So this will be my state aging area and uh, where I keep most things. Now we move from the relative calm, peace and tranquility of the core world to move over to what I feel might be quite an active area of this war. I'm not sure, but proximity would dictate that over on the eastern flank, we might be having a little problem with uh, Jeff's Legion. Joff's Legion? I'm told that both are correct there, so let's just go for Joff's Legion. Now as you all know, I am not a hostile nation. We are after all the Kerbals for the ethical treatment of all, and we will treat these people ethically. Anyway, on the eastern front, <laughs> excuse me, on the eastern flank, uh, we have Dornby Hole, which indeed is a hole in a mountain, manned by Kellis and Cadbull Kerman. Green Pete's. It's nice, it's flat, it's got itself a launch pad, no runway, but the land out here is flat enough to be used as one. This is manned by Killfield and Chemcan, two Kerbals with the best names, I'd like to say. Evercrest is a base on the tallest mountain on Kerbal. Kerbin, would you believe it? I know, crazy, crazy. Up here
here in the very, very thin atmosphere. I feel a little exposed, but uh, Kidred and Kelgun Kerman are gonna hold it down, try and keep this place safe. And then we have the big boy, Kraken's Belly. This is another base inside a hole in a mountain, but the reason that I am particularly worried, oh sorry, held down by the COVID leader themselves, Kernus. But there's a reason that I'm particularly worried about this this place. If we uh, take a moment to pan over thuswards, this 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 bay, this river, it's um. It's not connected to any ocean. And if we continue to zoom down on a base that the Legion has all the way down here, it's uh, it's rather well, rather well manned, don't you think? But our defenses are not limited merely to stationary ground-based turrets. No, 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 we have the mastery of both the air and water domain. In the air, we have something called the Caddis Fly. Yes, indeed, this plane, the pinnacle of Kita technology. With its cool inverted wings and 10 weapon points given it both air and land defense capabilities, it was developed originally as a scout vessel, but, you know, once I'd thrown some weapons on there, I was like, you know what? This might do very well at defending our territory. As part of our turn one preparations, I get to put two of these caddis flies out. The first one is going over at Green Peaks, yes, on the eastern flank. Uh, we've got Camblin and Kenler Kerman, uh, both two new conscripts. Over at Goldpool, we're putting another one down. This is Karen and Kerbo Kerman. Uh, they're also going down. And of course, it's not just air superiority that we are shooting for here. Of course, the naval battles are also going to be real, but you guys know me. I cannot just make a boat. I just, why, why would I? You might have noticed that you know, we've got a turtle, we've got a caddis fly, and now, of course, the plesiosaur. This is also going at Gold Peaks and is manned by Catley and Curdrus Kerman. Some of these names are very hard to pronounce, but there we go, there they are. Uh, the new conscripts, welcome. They are part of the COVID team, but also kind of not because they're beyond the original 19. I'm not sure where to name that, actually. But ladies and gentlemen, that is my nation. The Kerbals for the ethical treatment of all. Kita, we are here. We are the world police. Subscribe if you want some more of this, and I will see you guys later. War. War is not pretty. War is not cheap. Help support the cause. Donate on Patreon today. Bye.